Yo guys, what's going on? Pop and Joker 0207 here, and as you can tell, I am still sick, but it's whatever. I'm bringing a video to you guys anyway, because I love every single one of you. I want to give a quick thank you for 865 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I just don't thank you enough, so there's going to be a couple of videos coming soon about that. But if you clicked on this video, you probably wanted to know how to make custom thumbnails for your videos. So today I'm going to be showing you. It's completely free, um, although you can pay to make better ones and stuff like that. But I will be showing you how to do it on Windows and mobile devices and um, a web browser. So Apple, I'm not sure if you can get Photopad, but I know you can get the trial of Photoshop. So I can't actually get that because... I do not have admin rights, but I'm sure there's a way to. I just haven't uh, looked into it enough. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this program right here, which is called the Photopad Image Editor. There will be links down below for all these products, and I think, you know, um, <clears throat> you guys will be pretty impressed. Um, the reason I say that is because the company that uh, puts this uh, stuff out there is NCH Suite, and I've reviewed two of them. Or, um, I've reviewed them two times on VideoPad and Debut, but I don't have Debut anymore. I use OBS. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and open it up. So, here it is. It's pretty simple. So, let's just, let's just open up a picture, all right? So, the reason... <laughs> the re Hold on. Um, the reason you might want to make a custom thumbnail is because on the screen right now, there's these pictures that come up whenever you um, have to pick a thumbnail. Some of them might not be too appealing. So, if you go here, let's say your video was gonna be about ham or something, I don't, I don't know, it's, 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 just, let's just uh, pick, um, imagine that, all right? Imagine that, all right, ham. So, you would get a picture of a walrus. How about that, all right? So here's this picture of a walrus, all right? So you can do tons of stuff with this, you can, Crop it, rotate it, flip it, resize it, stuff like that. But then whenever you select, that pretty much means you just select a uh, part of it. So let's say you don't want the lower half. You can just cut it right there. Or you can use a magnet to make it look better. So now you, now you don't have that, but I'm not going to do that. So yeah, you could um, just use this magnet tool to get right up next to it. It's really cool. And then you can use the magic wand and it just separates stuff so easy for you. Like, you could just delete this part, and now you'd have that clear, and then you could do all that stuff. But yeah, and then you can fill and crop selected. You can go over here to colors and change what kind of colors you have, levels, hues, entire image. Let's say I wanted a purple hue on it, or a blue hue. Yeah, there's a blue, there's a blue uh, walrus. So now I'm going to go to filters, and they have all these filters on here. I'm just going to click a ton of them. So our, um little uh walrus looks like he's dying all right effects so now we can blur it we can sharpen it we can pixelate we can add a vignette so a vignette is pretty much this thing where it like um it darkens the borders you see that a lot of my videos then you add some text on here in different kind of fonts and stuff you can use a draw tool which means you can just draw on whatever you want to so i just covered all that up and then you can add another image into it. So if you wanted like a big red arrow or something, then you could add that. You can also remove a certain color. Just like this black, I can remove, or well, I'd have to go down there, but <clears throat> yeah. And then if I wanted to retouch it, I could focus the fix. I could um, uh, reduce noise in low light photos. I could get rid of red eyes. I could touch it up and all that kind of stuff. And then if you want to get creative, you can, like, make bricks out of it, like a collage. It's really cool. And then uh, after you're done, you just go here to Save As, and you uh, save it as a PNG, a GIF, a, BM a BMP, a TIFF, and a JPEG and stuff like that. So now I have a um, picture of a brick wall in my uh, thing. So... You can do this, you can do all kinds of things. Um, like I said, there will be links down below if you want to experiment with it. And so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next option. Here we go. All right, so the next one is Fodor.com. So Fodor, Fodor is gonna be a little bit, um, 
it's it's not gonna be as uh, good really as um uh, PhotoPad because it doesn't have as many features. You want to edit, so you take a picture, um obviously, and you'll put it in here, and then you can do specific things. I really recommend you getting PhotoPad, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, do some stuff in just a second. So here you'll be able to add a picture. So open a picture from the computer. Let's just pick this thumbnail that I already made. All right, so um, I can resize stuff like that. Um, I can do effects and stuff like that, but. You know, it's not as defined and not as, um, you know, good as PhotoPad because, you know, it just doesn't have as many features. I honestly still like it, though. All right, now last up, I'm going to show you um, whenever your PhotoPad expires, you get a trial. It'll say use the demo version. So when you use the demo version, you won't be able to uh, use all the features that you might want to, and you might not be able to add that many features. So... A way to get around this is just go to your uh, setting, uh, startup menu, go to settings, go to control panel, and from here go to uninstall a program, go all the way down to PhotoPad, wait until you see it, there it is, and then just double click it. Now right here it'll say uninstall PhotoPad, no I don't want to tell you, and then it'll finish. Now you just go back to the NCH website and download it again and you have a full trial. It only takes like a minute to do, and if you're going to be making thumbnails constantly, it honestly isn't that bad, but if you would like to buy it, then you can do that as well. Now just keep in mind, there are plenty of other options like Photoshop, um, which is a very well-known one, and you might be able to find one that's a little better if you do comment. And if you like this video, then uh, like it. If you want to get subscribed, get subscribed, it's that easy. And if you didn't like it, dislike it. Now we're going to go ahead over to the phone to see what things you can get there. All right, guys, here we are on the phone. As you can see, we're in the Play Store. <clears throat> now, if you're on Apple, you can just search this up as well. It's YouTube Thumbnail Creator. Now, um, I'm not sure if this particular one right here, you see this one right here, the Thumbnail Maker and Banner Maker is on Apple. But if it is, then it's definitely a try. Um... Although you can use other ones that you find on Apple, then uh, I just recommend this one for Android. Like I said, I'll leave links for everything down below. So, just gonna go ahead and open that, and what you're gonna see is this. Um, it wants you to allow and uh, crap. What you can do is start out basic, okay, and then um, I'm just gonna take this picture. If it was like my picture, maybe you know, just for example, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, add some words up here, you know, if I wanted to. So let's add up some fonts. Hold on, there we go. All right, now I can add all kinds of stuff, like filters. I can um, change brightness, do a vignette. I, um, I included this in the last, in the photo pad. Um, it creates like a border around the image. Remove watermark for $2. Well, I'm sure you could uh, figure a way out of that. And even if you didn't remove it, you could just uh, like crop it in your pictures before you did it. You can keep the watermark there. So yeah, just like you can add all kinds of stuff on here, it looks like. It's actually quite cool. So if I wanted to add, well, what would I? What would you want to add? You probably want to add some colors, wouldn't you? You you'd want to change it up and make it red and stuff. Well, you can add other pictures onto it. So it's actually quite cool. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go back over to the computer for the ending. So yeah, that was pretty much that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you do. Leave a like if you didn't, leave a dislike, and if you are new, make sure you subscribe because it helps me out oh, 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 so much, and you know, yeah, so subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of beautiful stuff. If you have any questions, tell me in the comments or email me, check out my other channels, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys keep it popping.